Hello, welcome. This is Vanessa. Welcome to today's Pick a Card reading where we are going to be looking at what chakra of yours is currently the most active. Sorry about the mess behind me. I'm in the middle of kind of moving and rearranging. Um, but what chakra of yours is the most active? Keep in mind, this is for the present moment, right? Um, you know, this can change over time. So you can come back and watch this reading another time, pick a different group. You can also get this reading done for yourself if you want something a little more specific, either whenever this finds you or further on down the line. So yeah, have fun with it. Um, but the whole entire purpose of this reading by looking at what chakra of yours is currently the strongest. So you can kind of utilize that information, uh, really play to your strengths. Um, I will probably be doing another reading very soon about which one of yours might currently be the weakest. Um, now keep in mind, this could be an overarching theme for you. Whatever comes out, you could be like, yeah, I know that's always my strongest or like, oh yeah, you know, I, um, I, I figured as much like this is kind of where I tend to excel. So we're going to go into it as we get into each pile. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what today's read is going to be all about. So as usual, I have three groups to choose from. Um, group one, as you saw in the thumbnail, is with this plum tourmaline. Look at her. She's so beautiful. <laughs> Excuse my hiccup. Group two is with this gorgeous fuchsia agate. Look at this little baby. Look at her. Such deliciousness. <laughs> Feeling, feeling special today. And group three is with this hemomorphite tower, this little obelisk. So feel free to take your time. You can pause the video if you need to, kind of meditate, contemplate on all the options in front of you. Um, when you have chosen one that you feel best resonates with your energy, head down to the timestamps in the description box below and go check out what you got. So I'll see you guys there. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, group one. So you guys chose the plum blossom tourmaline. The immediate thing I got here was very crown chakra energy. Whatever comes out, in addition to that, your crown might be very active at this time. Um, or with that crown chakra, it could be that your guides have been trying to lead you to this information for a while. That's not usually what this crystal is about, like at all. Um, but I'm definitely picking that up very, very heavily for some of you. Now, the plum blossom tourmaline is a lot about kind of bringing in emotional balance. It's a lot about kind of soothing and calming and stimulating the, uh, you know, the heart chakra. Um, especially because this one looks a little more purple, but there are some really beautiful pink inclusions. I guess a lot of the time they tend to be a little more pink. I am still learning about crystals. It's not, you know, like I don't, I'm not an authority on it. So if you have experiences or information, um, you know, having to do with the plum blossom tourmaline, you can always, you know, respectfully add it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Um, but this was the immediate thing I got as soon as I picked it up is that there's crown energy here. Um, like your guides have been trying to like lead you to this or like in addition, whatever comes out, there's a lot of crown chakra activity. So let's see what you got. Are you ready? Drum roll, my babies. We have whoo, solar plexus with determination. Yes, 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 yes. That's so funny because I just did a personal reading where there is a very heavy crown and solar plexus. Now, when I think of chakras that are linked, I always think of the solar plexus and the third eye. Um, so this is really interesting. We have determination, like I said, 16 reducing to a seven, and we have all these salmon swimming upstream. So you guys got your solar plexus. This is, you know, the, the chakra that's right around, you know, right above your navel. I know you can't see it, but I'm pointing my little bellies. Um, and this is your sense of power, your sense of personal power, your sense of will. This is currently your strongest chakra. I feel like the reason why for many with the salmon imagery is you've had a problem you've had to face. 16 in the tarot is the tower card. This may have been kind of a shocking change out of nowhere. You've had an issue you've had to face and it has felt like you are swimming upstream. For many of you, it's kind of this energy of the only way out is through it. And I think you understand that and you have buckled down and you're kind of like, I'm getting will of the warrior kind of energy, just like, running and yelling and charging into it whatever it is um so your sense of will right now is very very strong and maybe the reason why i'm getting crown chakra energy is because your guides are guiding you very heavily through downloads through synchronicity some of you you're getting like tingles on your head a lot lately you might be getting like scalp issues um there's something here where your guides are leading you very heavily through this this like shift and this change um because I feel like it's very, very important to your personal power. 
um, to your sense of like personal will that you make it through this and that you don't give up on whatever the situation is in your life. So they're, they're sitting with you very heavily through this. Okay, so we have chocolate coming through with nourish your body and soul 13 reducing to a four that is the death card in the tarot again major transformation it's interesting because whenever i talk about the major arcana both death and the tower can represent endings but they're a little different the tower is like a sharp left turn the rug is ripped out from under you and seemingly it kind of comes out of nowhere whereas death is a little bit more organic the writing is on the wall it's a little more incremental um, and the thing with the tower is oftentimes too, it's not really all at once. It just feels all at once because we've kind of been ignoring an area of our life that's not as stable as we'd like it to be. When these two energies show up in a reading of both kind of death and the tower, right? And I, I don't know why I'm focusing so heavily on this, but I'm going to go with it. 555, as I said, that's so you guys are undergoing a lot of changes. When these two energies can show up, this is something where it seems like it's very out of left field or there's a very like cataclysmic, eruptive kind of energy, but it's part of a longer standing transformative process. Now, when they both come up, usually the person understands that whatever kind of rupture is necessary to completing or pushing through with this transformation. And I feel this energy here. I feel like that's why with the solar plexus chakra, you understand and you've submitted to this process. And you're very heavily leaning on your will at this time to carry you through. There is a light at the end of the tunnel and that's what you're focused on, right? Our will informs our action. It's like our intention informs our action. Whatever's at the end of this process, I think you know it's worth the struggle to get there. And a lot of you I'm feeling are just pushing through um, with everything in you. So if you're hanging on and, and you're, it's been tough, just know that like your solar plexus is, is, is carrying you through right now. Nourish your solar plexus, do solar plexus chakra healing meditations, um, do, you know, like appropriate breath work exercises. I'm getting some of you doing warrior breathing, if you can, might kind of help you. Um, for some of you, doing activities like going swimming is going to be really helpful. Um, but we have nourish your body and soul. So at this time, your soul is going through a growth spurt. Um, and it's really, really important that you support your body at the same time I'm getting. That's something that you can definitely do to kind of help with this. Um, but a lot of you as well, with this being your strongest chakra, I feel like it's strongest at this time. But I feel like in general, you also usually have a pretty strong solar plexus. You might be very comfortable in your divine masculine energy. Um, there is a need, though, to make sure that you are feeding your body as well as your your spiritual self and feeding your spiritual self in, in like a healthy way. And feeding your spiritual self can be, like I said, meditating when you need to meditate. Some of you would do really uh, would benefit really well to read kind of spiritual or inspirational books to start kind of branching out with spiritual lectures. There's something here about feeding your soul that's very important. I'm going to take a sip of my water. Mm hmm. -hmm beautiful coherence 13 again major transformation the frequency of coherence supports our ability to harmonize the frequency of the heart with the frequency of the mind for an optimal ability to create the reality that we desire yes 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 um it's interesting we've already gotten a lot with like mind body soul kind of connections here so you're coming into into resonance you're coming into alignment and this is partially why it's such a big push because I think you guys have been changing, like I said, with that almost death energy. You've been changing over time and things have been starting to feel out of alignment, out of harmony. This big change in your life is to push you into alignment, to push you into that harmony. Um, and that's why your solar plexus is, I feel like, uh, getting extra energy diverted to it. Um extra I need some extra love this way it's getting extra attention I cut the deck wow we have the ten of swords to the ten of coins this is what I feel like sorry about my burp <laughs> this is what I feel like is being talked about you're moving from this heavy cycle of endings right this could be what you've been pushing through this is the last push this heavy cycle of bitter disappointment betrayal endings heartbreak trust wounds you name it it's all of the bs you're moving into something, into a cycle that's going to bring you quite a lot of abundance with the Ten of Pentacles. And I'm feeling this almost seemingly instantaneous energy where it's going to almost hit you all at once. And perhaps that's kind of that tower energy here is that you've been going through this transformation through this very, very difficult cycle out of this difficult cycle for quite a long time. And then boom, you almost have this instantaneous 
transformation but there's this again those are two totally different energies and i feel that you're you've been caught in the middle for a little bit of time here um and this energy right now is meant to push you from that ten of swords into that ten of pentacles um so i want to see what your guides are pushing you toward what you're moving toward what's the light at the end of the tunnel again ten of pentacles um, I want to look at this, but not take it. Seven of Wands reversed. You're not going to have to fight for this forever. You're not going to have to always be like on the defense forever. You're going to be able to let this go at some point. Um, Knight of Pentacles reversed because I feel as if you're you're transitioning out of a cycle where you're investing into things that don't blossom, that don't prosper, and in fact only hurt you. Um, but you're you are nearing the end of that. So what's at the end of the tunnel? <laughs> There's a Ten of Pentacles reversed. Okay. The King of Swords reverse, interesting, and the Hierophant reverse. What's at the end of the tunnel is the you're deconstructing a lot of old programs. This is foundational energy, deconstructing a lot of old programs, working through family cycles, generational karma, you name it, um, that have kept you both hyper vigilant and feeling blindsided at the same time. What you're learning to do is balance faith with the like you know the the spirit and the mind, right? Faith in the divine with your sense of like personal knowing and personal power. Um, some of you might have a lot of placements on a fire, air axis like Gemini, Sagittarius. I feel like you're also going to be coming into this place where you're deconstructing old patterns that in, in doing so, it will allow you to be able to let your guard down. I feel like this is like this hypervigilance energy because this guy sees everything. He knows everything born strategist, man with a plan. You're always 10 steps ahead, but I feel like it's kept you very guarded. Again, you, you've got this warrior spirit going on um, and it's tested you, it's tested your faith in things. And I feel like that test has sometimes been failed. Like it's almost like the, I don't say spirits failed you, but the circumstances have failed you. Um, Knight of Swords reverse. I feel like you're going to be able to let go of this identity of always having to defend yourself, right? You're gonna be in this place of nurturing yourself and some of you are already coming into that. Um, five of Swords, what you're coming out of is a cycle where you always have to defend yourself because you're always around people who wanna, who wanna cut, right? These are people who will lash out and say whatever they need to in the heat of the moment to win the argument. I think you've had to learn to be very defensive, but I don't think that's true to you in the heart and soul. And so for you guys, taking your power back, I feel, has not only been about surviving this cycle with them, but has been about learning how to be softer and more nurturing with yourself, more loving with yourself, going within. A lot of you guys, you know, with all that crown energy may have been kind of in hermit mode for a while because you've been learning to see yourself in a new way. You've been learning to see your life in a new way. Four of Cups reversed, and I feel like you've been tapping into your emotions a lot more deeply and accepting yourself as an emotional being. Magician, this is your power. This is your power. What was standing in the way of you fully claiming your personal power was being able to be in resonance between the mind and the heart. You were too much in the head before, and you're getting into your heart space, and you're learning to love yourself from that place, and that's your power. The world. And you're wrapping up this old cycle. A lot of you are also going to be stepping, yeah, nine of pentacles. This has a lot to do with your self-worth as well. A lot of you are stepping into quite a lot of abundance and to peak manifestation abilities as a result. This is really, really cool. So um, I hope that's been helpful for you guys. If you are looking for this reading for yourself, you can check out my shop link in the description box below and you can order that for a personal reading. Um, just feel free to DM me because I do customs. This has been super duper fun. I'm wishing you the best, brightest, most beautiful things that life has to offer. Take care. Bye. Hi, group two. Okay. I'm feeling this like very like mm, kind of energy. Maybe it's off the stone. I love this stone. This is very much about like stimulation to the heart chakra in a very positive way. Magenta is a color that very much resonates with universal love. I feel this like connection to universal source energy specifically when it comes to connecting to other people and it's almost like vibrating like overflowing kind of love right and like very specifically like imagine you could like reach out and and like um like 
imagine you're in the center of a wheel you could reach out and touch your your hands to the the sides of the wheel and there's like all these other spokes that then also can connect to you they're showing me like that image and it's like all of it vibrates the wheel and the spokes vibrate and then you start vibrating and vice versa um and there's kind of this energy of something being shaken up from within uh, i don't know if this is like a power you have if this is something you're stepping into when i was shuffling i was getting the impression that for group two there was this energy of uh this being new um like you know this not always this uh this might not always have been your strongest chakra but i feel like this is the circumstances in which your strength is either shining through or is that's bringing that strength forward so i'm excited to see what you have what do you have whoo you have the solar plexus chakra um so did group one but i feel in a different context you might if you were drawn to group one as well you might want to watch because we have 13 coming out and that was a very prevalent number in group one as well so you got the solar plexus chakra with uh i almost said with group one with personal power just look at that like hell yeah this is like this is especially with this being made of fire you know this is our fire chakra our divine masculine energy and it's interesting we're talking about the hands because I was really like getting that quite a lot. I feel like this is your soul power. Like this feels deep, right? This comes from within. Some of you are going through your kundalini awakening. Um, but your strongest at this time is your, your solar plexus. And interestingly, even though this talks about personal power, I feel as if either like connecting to other people is part of that or it's going to bring that out. It's it's part and parcel to this. Your personal power comes from, I feel like, your heart space. No matter what else, you know, like, obviously, your solar plexus is very powerful right now. Um, but one of your personal, like, your personal power comes from how deeply you can connect to other people and how deeply you can love. Again, this is the core of your being, universal love energy. It is something that you have, and it's coming forth in abundance right now. And this is very timely. I'm getting very serious about it very timely because this is part of your purpose the way that you love people the frequency with which you love needs to be here on the earth plane at this time do not downplay the importance of what you bring to the table i'm using my serious voice because your guides mean it <laughs> like um but this is powerful stuff and i feel like some of you are about to find out just how much you are loved just how much you are respected just how powerful it is to be able to love well because some of you guys, your sensitivity may have been mocked, um, may just not have been prioritized, may not have been appreciated. I'm hearing chided is a word that's coming through. You're about to find out how powerful you truly are. And I think it's going to come in, it's going to come out or come through in a way that you would never have imagined. Specifically, it's like if you had told me when I was a kid, I would not have believed you. Gold, attract abundance, dude. I don't, so I, I don't like pick a pile before I start reading because I don't want to influence the reading with my own perception and, and, and uh, situation. But I hope this is the one I get. I always roll for it after. I'm like, oh, this one seems good. I like it. Um, so we have 21, which reduces to a three. But yeah, attract abundance. This is what I mean. I feel like this is really good. Um, this also, gold is a color of the crown chakra as well. Group one had that. In addition to the solar plexus, there was some crown energy for you guys. I'm feeling very heavy, like heart chakra energy, but at a very universal love, like kind of level. Let's see what else you get. You guys are the only group that got two of these cards. You have Earth, 24. The frequency of Earth supports our deep connection to the physical to this physical plane by showing us the beauty of all the aspects of our great mother and revealing the more ethereal spiritual aspects of our nature. So much green here, so more heart chakra. That's beautiful. I want to put them like this because I want to. And the solar plexus chakra, what? This deck has exactly one card for each of the chakras. So that's bonkers. I'm going to shit my pants. Um, I'm going to stop threatening to do that even as a joke. Um, so we have the number three now showing up twice. So you have two threes, a four, and a six. But the frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power, and our willpower, as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. So again, it's so interesting because like even group one had a lot of solar plexus energy as well, but this is a different way it's coming through. As I mentioned, what you have needs to be on this earth at this time. And what you have is also bringing forth I'm feeling like with the blue and the green here, pardon my itchy nose, the reality, the truth, the authentic truth of the heart. 
and how important it is. For some of you, I'm just saying this, for some of you, you have like this heart of gold energy and you you might have kind of like always been uh, having people kind of do the like, well, nice guys finish last kind of shtick or always felt like your sensitivity was a weakness. You were here to show people, this is such a good pile. I'm like getting excited. You can tell by my crazy eyes. <laughs> you, you're about to show people, you're about to serve as an example that not only is it never a bad idea to care about people, is it never wrong to show love, is it never, you know, a problem to show compassion and to show empathy, but you're about to show that that's the way to abundance. I could talk about this all day, but we live in a world currently, the TLDR, we live in a world currently where there's a lot of hierarchical power structures. You know, having power means I have power over this person or this person has power over me. It is a, it is a dichotomy of dominance where we either are dominated by others or expected to dominate others. There's no in between. So when people refuse to do either, others don't know what to do with it. Right. When you neither refuse to submit to another person, nor do you when and you, you know, nor do you accept dominating another person, people don't know what to make of you. And I think a lot of the shifts we're experiencing spiritually. And if you'd like to know more about this, I'm happy to make a separate video about this. A lot of the energetic shifts we're experiencing spiritually as a collective on the earth plane at this time are about deconstructing our very unhealthy relationship to power at a wide level, a wide scale, right? A lot of people seek power and dominance because the way that power currently works is, again, we we either have power or we have given it to somebody else. Somebody takes it from us or we take it from another and people don't want it taken from them. So the way to avoid that is to take it from others. What you are here to do is break that dichotomy wide freaking open, <laughs> wide open, because what you're doing here is you have that heart of gold, you have those good intentions, what you were here to show people, the truth that you were here to show people is that loving people is the only way, showing universal love, showing, and I'm not saying like, you know, being boundaryless or letting people walk all over you, but operating from a space of love for self and for others, sorry, self and others, there we go, is the only true way to attract and or maintain abundance. This is why I feel like you're about to, you know, this also might be with a reaching, you're about to make contact, right? You are reaching out from a place of love. I'm feeling very heavy in the heart chakra here, very strong energy. You are about to use your personal power to reach out and make contact from a place of love, from a place of your authenticity. And it's like, as you connect to others, others then also connect to you. And it's like this, this um, energetic exchange that is based off of unconditional love, that is based off of respect, that is based off of the understanding of the connection between the earthly plane we live in and the spiritual plane we spiritually exist in, our souls live in, and the fact that they have reciprocal relationships with one another. Um, these are going to be the tenets from which you, you attract and you manifest abundance. Like you guys are about to serve as an example to people of why you don't give up on loving people. The universe is made of love. The universe runs on love. And I know that sounds really, really cheesy, but this even can apply at a quantum level, right? Entanglement is the concept where we are tied to things energetically that we have no genetic connection to and that are not proximally close to us. We have energetic connection. We have we have like a certain element of, I'll say magnetism for lack of a better term. We are energetically connected to things. And what strengthens those bonds of energetic connection are high vibrational emotions like joy, like passion, like commitment and contentment, and most of all, like love. So when I say the universe runs on love, I'm not just being sappy, although I do love to do that. I'm not just being sappy. I'm not just like spouting out hippie stuff. This is also very much a part of what we are starting to understand about quantum entanglement. So when we want to manifest things, manifesting from a place of love is one of the most effective ways to draw it close to us. The universe runs on love. I cannot stress that enough. You guys are about to start to be part of a wave of, uh, of people, a wave of new energies, new frequencies, new ways of holding power. And it comes from the strength of your love. And I think it's going to serve as this abundant confirmation for you that your, your personal power lies in your spiritual power and lies in your incredible ability to love. 
So I don't even feel like there's a lot to add to this with the tarot, but I'm gonna I'm gonna still try the chariot reversed. You've you've met a lot of opposition and a lot of like perceived failure. The nine of pentacles. Okay, hang on. The two of wands. Okay. Woo. All right. Stuff fell on the ground. What's at the bottom? Two of swords reversed. Hang on, love. Oh. Nine of wands reversed. I think that a lot of you, this journey has been, a huge part of this journey has been the question of whether to let it get to you or not, whether to give up or not, right? And what you've had to make a decision on, because we have the two of swords reversed at the bottom, the two of wands reversed at the bottom, is whether or not you were going to throw in the towel or whether or not you were going to stand firm in yourself, in loving yourself the way you are and in sticking to your morals and sticking to your goals, in doing things the way that you know you need to do them, but you know is in alignment with universal order. I don't know why I'm getting so serious about this. It's because you know it. And I think some of you need to hear this. This is confirmation. I have a burp stack. Sorry. This little snail is crawling over the bush with thorns. This has been slow and painful. Um, excuse me. Some of you with the chariot reversed, you've had to sacrifice people that you have loved you've had to sacrifice relationships because this is cancer's energy so upright this to me can talk about you know home and family success victory you've had to really slog through a lot of shadow work you may have had to let go of family let go of like patterns a lot of you may have felt like you never had a place you never had a home you never fit in some of you have chiron and cancer in your natal chart this is what you've had to struggle through and you are about to get a Again, just like this wave of, you're going to get catapulted into this wave of success. I feel like with the personal power coming out, again, with the, the reaching out, there's going to be something that you need to do, something you start making, something you take action on. What is this card? Temperance. There's going to be magic. You're making magic. I'm hearing magic on your behalf. And the seven of wands reverse, you're going to be able to let go of this heavy burden. What is this? Yeah, the seven of swords and the eight of pentacles. I feel like whatever it is you're about to make, temperance again, create. Um, whatever it is you're manifesting, you don't even know yet. It's like you, you're not even fully aware of how much you've already laid the groundwork for this. We have a spider here um, depicted. So there's like this element of in like the web where you've already created all of this through your efforts. Again, the seven of swords. It's It's been sneaky. It's like everything that you faced has been just like another thing in the web. And you're about to see all of your craftsmanship, your hard work come together and it's going to seem very sudden but it's not you've been leading up to this for a long time and you know that and you deserve every scrap of happiness and success and abundance and fulfillment of the heart that you're about to get dude i hope this is my pile <laughs> like that would be so nice so i think that's everything that i have for you guys um you know you can support your solar plexus chakra at this time by doing meditations um by meditating on themes like you know where you feel your personal power comes from what your emotional truth is just based on what came out in this reading um how you feel you can take active steps to support this how you feel you support your authentic truth when it comes to power struggles um just like themes like that and how you can use who you truly authentically are and take steps toward your abundance right toward what you would feel is abundant for you so this is everything I have for group two. This is super cool. I am wishing you guys the most beautiful things that life has to offer. If you're looking for this reading for yourself, you can check out my shop link in the description box below and DM for a custom reading. But yeah, many blessings to you. And I'm going to move on to group three. Bye guys. <clears throat> Hi group three. Um, okay, I immediately just want to be like, kind of shaking it out here. I'm feeling like this like fun, zesty kind of party energy off you guys. Like a group two felt really nice too, but it was a little more like, hmm. but you guys, I'm feeling like moving around. It feels like there's a lot of energy. You might have a lot of like sacral going on. It's just like, I want to dance. I want to like do stuff. Um, some of you guys there might be some root chakra energy going on. This might be something you've recently been working on or tuning up healing. And it's like, whether it's root chakra or not, you guys want to move your body because there's a discharge of old energy or you're welcoming in new energy. Some of you are learning to foster a very new connection to your body and that's very significant. So you guys picked the hemamorphite. 
This is a crystal that's often about emotional grounding. I think you guys have been going through this a lot. And um, this is, you know, I have a couple little towers here, um, but this is the only one that's four-sided. The other ones are hexagonal. So to me, this is always about establishing more stability. And you guys are looking to establish more stability, um, I feel like at an emotional level, right? Like a very, very uh, grounded, again, purge old energy. So some of you have done so much work with this that moving your body is going to be that next stage because you're just discharging all the energy. I'm like, get it out of here. Boo! <laughs> um... So this is really fun energy. I, you, you guys want to hang? You want to party? Because you guys seem like fun. So let's see what you got. Whew, throat chakra. Okay, here she is. 22 with life purpose. Some of you are 22 years old. For some of you, 2022 was the beginning of this massive emotional overhaul. Um, with the stairs here, there is this ascension. But you guys are getting ready to meet the truth of your life purpose. This is why you're like, I'm getting this energy of like, poof, you're dancing, but you're like casting off old shitty energy, chucking it to the other room. You're like, get out of here. You get out of here. I feel like a lot of you guys are finding your stride. You're finding your, your, your pep, your zest. Uh, a lot of you are getting back in alignment with who you truly are after a very difficult period. And this is why you're ready. Sorry, my ear itches. <laughs> my hair is tickling me. This is why you're ready to move to the next step. This is why you're getting ready to move toward your life purpose. Um, 3113, as I said that just now. So um, that would be the number four showing up twice. And we have a four here. It feels like, you know, four is a number of stability. And again, boop, excuse my verb. <laughs> four is a number of stability. And it can also translate to stagnancy. But I feel like you guys are um, finally getting stable in a, in a way that had evaded you prior. Um, and things are moving in areas where they have been stagnant. So kind of take that as it resonates and apply it. But your throat chakra is very strong right now. Again, some of you are being inspired to speak up. Um, I'm really drawn to my little bluebird charm all of a sudden. So bluebirds might be significant for you. Um, those are also like this little bluebird associated with happiness. So it's like you guys are very motivated right now to find your happiness. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be feeling more inspired to speak up. Like I said, set boundaries. I was kind of doing that. Like, you get out of here. Like, you know, you're getting more in touch with what you want. And uh, as a result, you're becoming a lot more aware of what you don't want and what doesn't work for you. And I feel like you're dismissing it a lot more easily or quickly than you have prior. So good for you because that's awesome stuff. Yeah, white would lighten up. No shit, man. Okay, 24 reducing to a 6. Every single one of the groups has had some kind of crown chakra energy coming through so far, right? Um, in some way, shape, or form. So white can also be associated with a crown. It's because a lot of us are kind of like getting ready to move on to another phase of our spiritual journey. I see that here and I'm loving it for you. Like I said, it's so weird because this is such a serious energy and this is like lighten up. Like uh, there's, there's a sweatshirt that I made in my shop that um it's reminding me of this right now where it says life is too important to take seriously and this is the energy i feel like you guys are bringing to the table this is really fun um yeah there's this energy of like it's too important to take seriously some of you you're very much connecting with your angels at this time feathers are a huge sign for you right now but i just feel like you're lightening up you're lightening up after like this very challenging almost a charming cycle challenging cycle um, so maybe it was charming at first and then you're like, oh God, not this shit again. But you're lightening up again. Also wanting to fling the energy off. Some of you like, it's seriously, please move your body. However you need to, you're discharging a ton of energy. I want to like, I, I'm trying really hard not to do it, but I want to like fling my little arms around super hard and like, bah, 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 especially the arms, but also the legs. So anything from, you know, I would say sacral to throat those chakras you might be discharging a just like a shitload of energy um so let's see what else you got crown chakra i'm gonna shit my pants okay sorry we're fine here we're fine um there are exactly seven cards in this deck that have to do with the chakras one for each one group two in this deck they got the solar plexus and in this deck they got the solar plexus so i almost had a heart attack right there but we were just talking about the crown chakra energy and then boom this is fucking bonks. Okay, so I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't be cursing, but I also can't be contained. I'm sorry, YouTube. <laughs> um, but, okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now that I have had a small heart attack for the day. The frequency of the crown chakra, the violet flower of life, supports our spiritual connection to the universe and our ability to transmute negative energy into light. 
I don't look at your cards before I do this. I like to discover them with you. Um, so this is cool. I've been doing it for a while. It's always going to be cool. So it's so interesting that not only do we get the crown twice, but we have this concept of light energy lightening up on both of the like crown related cards. You guys are, you guys are really, so you are finding your life purpose um, because I don't want to ignore that and we're going to pull about it. And your strongest is your throat chakra right now. But the reason why, heavy crown chakra energy as well, the reason why is because you're finally getting in touch with your truth. And this is what's allowing you the opportunity to now connect. I feel like you guys had very active crown chakras before, but it's almost like this heaviness, this seriousness, right? That goes along with that connection to source, right? A lot of you may have been kind of clearing some heavy cycles, heavy blockages beforehand. And now it's kind of like those are out of the way. Those are being transmuted and released again. Um, those are being released. And so it's like you can now listen to and follow the guidance of spirit much more easily because you're not as bogged down. You're not as weighed down as you were before. Now you are going to be having the extra bandwidth and energy to actually dive into or continue to follow or find your life purpose. What is this life purpose one about? Page of Swords. You're going to be learning, right? You're going to be on this new journey where you're learning. Look how this little fox is being, I don't know, oh, Okay, I think he's leaping from hill to hill. Whenever I've seen this, literally up until this moment, it looks like he's being helicoptered around. So I'm going to stick with that. Um, and now that I just noticed that it's like leaping from hill to hill, this might be something where you're just, you've been kind of going like, all right, the next challenge, the next challenge, the next challenge. And now it's kind of like you go to like make the next leap and you now have this bird's eye perspective, right? You've just completed a challenge and instead of just like leaping to the next one, the next leap you make will be the leap home. No, but this is going to be the thing that gives you a higher perspective. I think there's something where you've just been going on, like, again, dealing with challenge after challenge, heaviness upon heaviness. Um, but you're going to be learning and you're going to be getting a fresh perspective. I'm being called to take this card and then shuffle the deck really quick. Okay. Yeah, I cut the deck, the three of swords and the sun. You're healing. And this is what's allowing you to find your soul self, your spiritual self, the six of wands, to find success and recognition. I feel like you're putting yourself out there in a very authentic way because the king of cups reversed. I feel like you had emotional healing and clearance to do. Um, I'm going to take this card and then I'm going to flip the other one I'd already pulled. Two of swords reversed. Nine of pentacles. Exactly. You've been doing so much healing. What's at the bottom? The eight of swords reversed. A lot of you have become very clear on what your value is with the nine of pentacles. You've What you've been healing is your relationship to yourself, particularly when it comes to your self-worth. You've been learning new ways to honor and value yourself, not only in your emotions and in your mental space, but also with the tangible actions you take. You've been learning how to do that. I feel this has been a long journey, a long cycle. This card in the traditional tarot, oh, it's even on this deck, has a little snail. Um, I'm starting to love snails. Snails are like becoming one of my favorite little like animal totems. They're really cute. Um, but you've you've been really working on this for a long time. And again, I feel like it's been very heavy. But now that you have gotten this, you have created enough stability for yourself. Because um, again, we have all these fours coming through. You have created enough stability for yourself where you can build toward your life purpose. You can build toward the future. You're not just about survival and maintaining and fixing and managing damage anymore. You now have created enough of a foundation where you can build. And that's what you're doing. And with the Page of Swords, I feel like you're in this learning period or you're about to enter this learning period and it's lighter. It's happier, right? We have lightened up and this little guy is curious as all get out. You can approach life with curiosity because you don't have to be always using your energy to deal with the same level of trauma, of pain, of disorganization, right? A lot of you guys are coming into a much lighter cycle than you've ever known before. And that's what's allowing you to be able to move forward on your life path. That's what's allowing you to be able to start moving toward your life purpose. Um, I am going to pull an additional card for what this life purpose might be. Granted, this is, you know, for a collective. So there's going to be a lot of different life purpose expressions. Um, death. It doesn't mean your life purpose is to die. Okay, calm down. It's okay. The tower reversed. Beautiful. And the star. Oh, my God. Your life purpose, honestly... Your life purpose is going to be to share about your transformation. A lot of you have undergone something very deep, a very, like, very significant level. And this deep transformation has been all about 
taking down what does not serve you, what does not work, unstable foundations in order to rebuild. And so your healing journey with the star, your, you know, and I love because the star always follows the tower and the tarot, and that was totally like random. This is something where your, um, your healing process is also bringing you to your wish your rebuilding process is part of your life purpose sharing that with other people your with the stairs here your ascension process your growth process is going to help you it's part of your life purpose because it's going to help other people learn to do the same and with the throat chakra communicating about this is going to be part of your life purpose so your throat chakra is getting very activated right now as you discharge energy because you're getting ready to share your truth some of you are getting ready to put yourself out there more some of you are feeling a lot more confident to speak like to speak up to speak honestly some of you are sharing about things that you've never really told anybody about before but you feel more confident in doing so um i want to just pull some more cards about this kind of just to see what comes through the wheel the universe is on your side. Things are about to just turn so completely in your favor. I feel like you guys are going to have a good luck streak. This is also a really great, I mean, all three groups have been great, but like a good luck streak, um, temperance, your manifestations are coming in. You're creating from the ashes and that's not usually a temperance meaning, but I'm feeling that here. The hanged man after a period of pause, after a period of enlightenment, getting a higher perspective. Some of you, this can be a card of sacrifice. So after having to make sacrifices, 4114 on the timer as I'm talking about this. So both of those reducing down to a five, you've made a lot of changes in your life to help support your stability. This is what's bringing in this good fortune, this good karma that you have worked very, very, very hard for. Wow, death, all major arcana so far. Um, and the page of wands reversed. Okay, so this is saying, this hasn't started quite yet. I love the little winking eye, like, mm, this isn't quite here yet, but you feel it. I feel like you guys are wrapping up, again, the last of this sort of transformation cycle. You've made all the sacrifices. You've made the changes. A lot of you are starting to get a new perspective on what you've had to leave behind. And it's starting to see how with all the flowers, there's growth coming out of it. So we don't want to rush that process of enlightenment realization. This is why the crown is also coming through so heavily. Because this is what's going to help you lighten up and discharge that energy. But what you are preparing for is this new adventure. Something you can get excited about, enthusiastic about. This is very similar. Like Page of Wands and Page of Swords, I think, are the most excited, curious energies of all the pages. Although all of them are. Um, you are about to just hit like a good luck streak, a winning streak. You're also about to step up and meet your destiny. That is undeniable here. The chariot, you are bound for success. And you know, the thing with the charioteer is usually it shows black and white sphinxes, meaning for me, this is about victory and success, but victory and success by integrating light and shadow. We know all aspects of ourselves. We accept ourselves. We work with our energy, not against our energy. And we don't banish any part of self to the shadow, meaning we own every piece of us. You have been doing the shadow work. You have been doing the integration work. You deserve, I'm hearing the success, but the respect that you are about to get for yourself. Your success is about to become much more public for some of you viral. You're about to be put out in the public and people are going to be looking at you for guidance, looking at you to help them through similar situations of their own because you deserve it. You are going to be very honored for your work and you deserve every scrap of it and you need to know that. So this was really beautiful. I think this is everything I have for group three. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I am wishing you big, beautiful things. If you'd like this reading for yourself, please feel free to check out my shop link in the description box below and you can DM me for a custom. Um, if I get enough requests, I'll add it to my shop, but yeah, this is beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing the time and energy with me today. I hope I get to read for you again very soon. Take care. Bye.